right, so let's try our example. I've got 10 milligrams and I want to know how many grains t that is. So 10 milligrams is how many grains? So the first thing I do is I look at my table that has all of the uh, equivalencies or conversion factors, I guess you could call them. Um, so, and I notice that 15 grains is one gram, but I, but there's nothing relating to milligrams. But I know how to switch between milligrams and grams, right? We learned that in the section about uh, converting within the metric system. So <coughs> I look at my chart for the metric system and I see that one milligram is the same thing as 10 to the minus 3 grams. So now I can take my mil milligrams and convert them in grams and because I have a relationship between grams and grains then I can convert to grains. So, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to take our 10 milligrams and multiply it by something equivalent to 1 that'll take us to grams. So I look at my equivalence between 1 milligram and 10 to the minus 3 grams and I want to divide on both sides by something that lands which in the bottom, the grams or the milligrams? What do I want in the bottom of my conversion factor? I want the milligrams in the bottom because I want them to cancel out with the milligrams that are already written in the top and I want to be left with just grams. So I see that and then I, so that means I need to divide this guy on both sides by milligrams. So I'm going to write it as 10 to the minus 3 grams over 1 milligram or I'm just going to write mg, right? That's the same thing as 1 when I divide this equivalence on both sides. So I can multiply by that, 10 to the minus 3 grams over milligrams. And I can multiply by it and not change the amount I have because, remember, this is equivalent to 1, right? Because these things represent the same thing. Um, something on the top, the same thing as something on the bottom. When you divide it, right, when you divide something, a number by itself, it's always equal to 1. Always true in math. All right, so we're multiplying by that guy. And when I do that, that's going to get rid of my milligrams and leaves me with just grams. All right, so we're almost there. And you could, you could do this in two steps, but I'm going to kind of do it all in one step. So I need another, multiply by another conversion factor that will take me from grams to grains. So I've got this relationship. 15 grains is equal to 1 gram. Well, if I want grains, what needs to be on the bottom of my fraction? Yeah, I want the grams to cancel out and to be left with grains. So that means I'm going to take this equivalence and divide on both sides by a grams. And so I get 15 grains over 1 gram, or just I'm just going to write G. Right? That's the same as 1. Okay. So you could think of this relationship as uh, <coughs> 1 divided by the other, or as a proportion, right? Or you can think of... Um, this equality and you're turning it into that factor there. Either way you think about it, however your brain wraps around it, it's, it, it either way works. So, I have 15 grains per gram and so my grams are going to cancel. And so now my milligrams are gone, my grams are gone, and so all I'm left with is 10 times 10 to the minus 3 times 15 and I've got this grains and so now I just have to do the math here. 10, you can think of this as a 1. We can use our exponent rules on this. Or you can drop this into the bottom and make it a positive exponent if that's easier for you. Um, either way, I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay. So um, 10 over 10 to the third, that's going to leave us with, 10 is going to cancel and leave us with 10 squared in the bottom. Okay, but 10 squared is 100, so I have 15 over 100, and I have grains. And now I want to reduce this fraction, right? 5 goes into both, so that leaves me with 3 over 20 for my fraction. Remember, 
In the apothecary system, we use fractions. We don't use decimals. So we wouldn't write 0.15. That would be incorrect. We write 3 over 20. And then also remember that little tricky thing? We write the units of measure first. So we'd write GR 3 over 20, 3 twenties. So that is our conversion between um, 10 milligrams to grains. Uh, and also just the tr I think that it, it works just like we were using with the metric system and the, the, um, the, the U.S. system. Just the only difference is when you get in the en to the end, make sure you write your answer as a fraction and that you put the units of measure first. I think that's probably the trickiest part. So let's try another example. <laughs> 